Meantime, the search for missing 11 year old Madalena Kojikari has now moved 150 miles west of where she lives in Cornelius to Madison County, North Carolina. Cornelius police releasing new photos and a new request to the public. Today they wanted to know anyone in Madison County in the late November to mid December time frame whether they might have seen Madalena's mother Diana or this Toyota Prius and they said please reach out with information if you have. We're going to show you a closer look at those photos in just a moment but first we want to remind you of where this plea fits into what we know about the Madalena timeline. So police are asking for eyewitnesses in that area north of Asheville from November 22nd to December 15th and you might remember that this is the time frame that starts basically the day after Madalena was last seen publicly, so that was getting off of her school bus. It also includes the point of time where Madalena's stepfather says that he went to Michigan. It goes up until the time that the school starts to become aware that she was missing and then was formally reported missing by her mother. Now, former FBI agent M. Quinton Williams is shedding some light on this latest alert. They have some evidence that she was spotted or her car was spotted in this area. Cameras are really important. They're vital. So anybody with camera footage in those areas or between here and there uh, that might have some footage, that's going to be really important. All right, so here's a closer look at those photos. Here you see Diana Kojakari, Madalena's mother. There's, of course, Madalena, and there's the Toyota Prius that Cornelius Police was talking about. Now, William says from an investigative standpoint, the FBI is trying to get as much detail on the mother and the stepfather's movements as possible. So any eyewitness information coupled with the cell phone records we know investigators wanted can paint a clearer picture. If you know anything, you can reach out to Cornelius Police. There's the number on your screen here. You can also submit a tip to the FBI tip line. That address there is tips.fbi.gov.